So, it seems that I've spent some more money. What a fucking surprise. What a surprise. Elijah, why are you like this? I'm back with another haul video. Um, this is a bit of a mixed one though. Usually my haul videos are mostly like clothing. But this is a little bit of everything. I've got some clothes in there, of course. When do I not have new clothes to show you? There's also some other bits and pieces. Also some just kind of essentials that I buy all the time that I don't really ever show you. I think I have probably showed you maybe like a year ago or something. Maybe like back in the day in my first few haul videos. I'm pretty sure I shared this kind of stuff. Um, but usually I don't because... I just tend to buy them all the time and if I showed you them every single time I bought them like every few months it would just become very repetitive but since I haven't showed you in a while I thought I would also show you those however before we get into the haul I have a package that I thought would be fun to open because obviously I bought this so uh, technically this could be included in the haul it's from Japan. I guess what it is, like, if you've been keeping track on what I've been buying the whole of this summer, you'll know what it is. The collection is pretty much complete now. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Zankyo reference. The One OK Rock is finally mine. Oh my god. This is actually one of my favourite One OK Rock albums, and it's taken me a long while to get it because I kept waiting to see if a seller would sell it any cheaper than like 34 pounds whatever which was like the cheapest they were selling it for all the other ones you could get for like 20 sometimes like 18 but for some reason Zankyo reference wasn't but I finally have it the collection is complete anyway into the whole video I'll start off with the essentials I went into body care and I got some cotton pads because you've got to take that makeup off some deodorant and then also in body care I bought makeup because I need more foundation and powder and usually I'd get it in boots but in body care it's a little bit cheaper for example this foundation was 4 99 and I think in boots it's usually around about like six pounds or something six seven pounds um, but this one is the one that I've used for literally years. You'll probably know, I don't really switch up my makeup or anything like that. I like makeup, I like wearing it, but the only thing that I like changing up... I say changing up, um, it's my lipstick, but even then I tend to stick with the same lipsticks. Like, I just don't really do anything fancy with my makeup. Anyway, so this is just Rimmel London Match Perfection um, I am the colour Ivory I don't think it's the lightest, I think there is one lighter than this I think it's like the second or third lightest and then I also bought some powder which I needed, I just get again, it's Rimmel London the Stay Matte Powder and this one is, it's just number one transparent and then I did go into boots because I needed to get some micellar water which I used to take off my makeup and I bought this one because this was like the cheapest one. I have bought Garnier's micellar water before. I tend to get just like the pink one, the one with the pink lid. Um, but this one's a bit different. This one mattifies instead of soothes, like the pink one. The pink one says it soothes. I don't really think it matters that much. Um, yes, so that was kind of like the essential type things. Now onto some clothing. This is something that I actually, I didn't buy today, but I bought not that long ago. It is my second purchase from the Ragged Priest. It was on sale, of course, because would I hell buy anything full price on that site? It is this top and it says skateboard and I think it's really cool like I had looked through the sale before and had seen this and had contemplated it because I really liked it but I didn't buy it and then I went on it again because I got an email saying it was like the last few days for the sale or something like that and I saw it again and I was like damn maybe I should just get it and I'm really happy that I did shoulders are like cut out and I just think it's just really, really cool. Like, it's a little bit different. I can't remember how much this was. I want to say it was something like £15 or something. I think it was maybe £15. I can't remember how much it was originally, but if I can find it, if it's still online, I will link it down below. I went into New York to look at the socks. Because one of my favourite pairs of socks got a hole in the other day. 
and I was raging because I actually haven't had the, those socks for that long um, but I was like okay this is just an excuse to buy more socks um, and so I went into New Look but none of them really caught my eye and that sounds stupid like socks are socks but I take my socks seriously and I need cool fashionable socks okay but I saw this and I was like I need that in my life and it was one of those things where in that moment I was like I need to buy this I don't care how much it is and it is this top here like, I'm surprised I actually did buy this because the t material it is I've always kind of been a bit meh about and not been that big of a fan of it's like that material with like the holes in it but what really drew me to it was the print on it it says Tokyo which I mean I'm obsessed with Japan so that's great um, it says 1992 for some reason I'm really liking when clothes have years on even if that year isn't relevant to me and the colouring of it as well I was like holy crap this is amazing. This is actually from the 915 generation range, which is like the kids slash early teen range in New Look. And I usually buy shoes from there because I've got like tiny feet, I'm a size threes. And my mum's always said you could probably get away with their clothes. I'm like five foot one and quite slim. So yeah, like I would probably fit in their clothes. But again, I've never really actually bought any of their clothes or even really actively looked at their clothes. But this just caught my eye and I was like, wow. So I didn't haven't even tried this on, but I can just tell by looking at it that it will fit me and um, this is 14 slash 15 I love it so much like look at the colouring of that like it's literally oh my god I love it um, and this was 11 99 also in New Look I bought these earrings they are basically the same as the ones that I'm wearing just now um, these blue ones but yellow these were actually from New Look as well and they actually still had these in store for sale if you are interested I didn't notice but it's actually down to a pound now that still says two pounds but they've written a pound on it and I thought they would go pretty cool with the top the last two things are pretty random and not what I expected to buy today so the first thing is in this box from the Disney store. Now in East Kilbride, which is where I was today, there used to be a Disney store years ago, but it shut and recently a pop-up Disney store has appeared and I was looking at the mugs and I always love the Disney mugs. The Disney mugs are always so cute. It is this mug here. It's Chip and Dale and I thought it was so cute. Now my reasoning for buying this. There is a reason. I'm so great at justifying buying stuff for myself. I've got a quite a few mugs but of course like everyone I think I always tend to use the same mug despite the variety that I have. I mostly use that mug just because of the shape of it and I have perfected the water to milk ratio when I make coffee and I feel like it's all down to the shape. Like, whenever I make coffee in another mug, it doesn't really taste right. I feel like I put too much milk in it or not enough milk in it, you know? I wanted to find one that was a similar shape. This is a fairly similar shape to it. It's a little bit taller, I think, um, but the general shape of it is more or less the same. And this is so cute as well. Like, look. And this was $8.99. And then the final thing, before I went to get my bus, I decided to have a little look in one of the charity shops. I really want to go into more charity shops. I volunteer at a charity shop and sometimes you get some really, really cool stuff in. And usually I don't bring money with me because otherwise I know that I will literally buy God knows what. But I kind of want to just go into other charity shops and like shop around and see what I can find. I never buy DVDs. Like... It's no secret, I'm not a huge film watcher. I can easily go months without watching a film. I usually get DVDs at like Christmas and it will usually be of a film that I really, really like. So I've basically, I've got the DVDs of my favorite films, which aren't many. There's loads of films that I like, but none that I feel like 
I should have the DVD for. But you may remember in my last favourites video, I mentioned that I watched Napoleon Dynamite and really liked it. And I found the DVD and I was, I don't know what overcame me. I was like, I'm just going to buy that because it's 99p for charity. Like, I do really, really like this film and I kind of want to watch it again. And that's when you know a film is good with me, when I actually want to watch it again. Like, even if I just like a film, I'm like, yeah, I could easily live without watching that again. Or like, I'll watch it again in like three years time when I've kind of forgotten about it. I only watched this like a week ago or something. Maybe just over a week ago, maybe almost two weeks ago. I can't remember. Um, no, it would have been two weeks ago. I kind of want to watch it again. I don't know, I just bought it. Yeah, so that's everything. This is a really random haul. I will try and link everything that I mentioned down below if I can find it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. I'm now going to go and listen to Zankia Reference because my 1OK Rock CD collection is basically complete. Basically complete. I still need those two Japanese editions. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing.